So I was in Somerville earlier um, picking up some food and I popped into a Brazilian convenience store and I found a whole bunch of snacks. All right, so I see the B-Fam do this all the time. I love Corey and Alicia. Um, they actually order like these boxes offline. Um, now, I didn't do that. I actually just like walked into a store and they had some pretty interesting stuff that you wouldn't find in like your normal convenience stores, um, which like I just showed you. So, I've been eyeing this all night. We're gonna try this one first. Just see how it is. I like this already, chocolate. But like, look at that. So like, that's kind of weird. Like, it's like wrapped. Let's see if I get this thing open. So it's already breaking before I'm even able to get it out. So I know it's crunchy. So this is kind of like what it looks like, which is really cute. So. Mm. Um. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. A lot of chocolate at once. And nut. Um. It says milk chocolate covered with wafer with whole hazelnut filling. So that's the nut that I'm getting. <clears throat> as the hazelnut, but I have a lot of more tracks to try. And that second piece was like definitely all wafer. That was definitely all wafer. So I couldn't help but notice these little cute juice boxes. Um, and they actually came in a pack of three for like $1.29. So these are called, oh gosh, um, Toadie Ho and Ho, Toadie and Ho. <laughs> so let's try Toadie and Ho. I love chocolate milk. Um, so let's see how this tastes. And this will be like a good like wash down for all of this stuff that we have. So let's see. For like an old school, kind of complicated to get it in, but... Old school juice box. That tastes just like a yuho. Just like a yuho. This is bomb. So good. Really good. That's got the pass. So this is the next candy that I found. As you can see, it doesn't really like give a good description. Except for like it's chocolate. And it has a cow on it. So I'm guessing maybe milk chocolate. It's made by Nestle. I'm kind of nervous about this one. I'm not going to lie. So it kind of looks like a regular chocolate bar. Take it all the way out. These inside chocolate bar. Mmm. This is better than the Duplo. It looks like inside. It's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, good. All right, so up next we have the Coco Milo. It's pink, so that's what really drove me to the package is the pinkness. So this is a lot smaller than the Lolo was. Um, yeah, like you can compare sizes, and I think they're about the same price. Rip off. So let's see what this looks like inside. It really tastes just like the Lolo, and it looks like basically the same inside. So, all right, it's got a little, I don't know if that's a sweetness to it. I don't really know what it is, but I don't really like that. It wasn't my fave. All right, I need a chocolate break. Let's see what we have for that. Alright, so we have like these chips things. I know queso means cheese in Spanish, and this kind of looks like queso. 
And this is what the um, bag looks like. And so let's see what's inside of here. Um, oh, all right. This next thing, I don't know what this is. Um, at all, but the packaging just kind of like made me curious. So let's open this thing up and see what it is. I hope it's something delicious. We love delicious things. I don't even know if I want to try this. Um, I mean, it was only 25 cents. I'm not really that mad, but. Um, this looks like a big piece of you know what like I'm gonna dare myself so it breaks apart really easily as you see like I don't even I'm not really even really pulling that hard and it's breaking apart um, and that just like broke yeah so I'm not even gonna try that I'll try a little piece like right here and I just don't really want to try it it's breaking apart too easily oh peanut butter oh okay I don't like peanut butter if you like peanut butter that's for you that is like a peanut butter block a block of peanut butter oh peanut butter I need to wash down that peanut butter oh all right so these are up next I kind of think these are going to taste like the dump little. Oh, but let's see here what these taste like. So these come in like little squares. I'll open the whole thing for you so you can see it. <laughs> I can get the package open. So these, this is what this looks like. It comes in like some squares. And let's eat a square. Um, a little bit less nutty, a little bit less like boom with the chocolate than the dumplo. But I can get down with this. Pretty good, pretty good. Mm -hmm. and by the way, I'm probably gonna sit here after I make these videos. I need all of this in one sitting. Washing down again with my chocolate milk. So I feel like I bought a whole lot of chocolate with nuts. Um, because I kind of feel like this is going to be the same thing. This is what we're going to try next. Let's see. The same thing, kind of, where it's like the squares. I can show you kind of what it looks like when I open it. And then let's see. Mm. It's one of my favorite so far with the nuts. There's not too much nut. There's a small bit of nut. Mm. And it's really sweet too. Triple thumbs up. Triple thumbs up. So I'm sure we have seen things similar to these. Um, I've never seen them in this box. They're called Tubin. Um, they were only $1.50, so fuck it. Might as well try it. So we're going to see how this tastes. So yeah, this is what they look like. Chocolatey goodness. Pretty good. It tastes like a chocolate wafer. <laughs> Which is what it is. A chocolate wafer. Mm. So, it's alright. None of this is really been anything I would, like, die for. Um, and if there's any foods that you're thinking of um, while you're watching this video, please let me know. Alright. So, I also found this, like, cool strawberry drink. It's, like, a strawberry, like, smoothie-type drink, kind of. Oh, 
So let's shake it. I always shake my smoothies. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Alright. I'd like to figure out how to open the damn thing. That'd be step number one. And it's not expired. The fuse, I always check to see when it expires. But, nope. So I had to like open the twist cap. So like this came off of it. Open it. It smells like a yogurt drink. Yeah. It's like a strawberry smoothie. That's exactly what it is. Bono. Alright, now let's try some bonos. Um, if I can ever figure out how to get these open. And again, if there's um like um a Pacific shop that you know in Boston, we have Chinatown or like a different um ethnicity of food. Um or if there's a different or a certain type of food that you're looking for or you want me to try, um, let me know and I will do my best to get it. I really don't know how to open these. Oh. It says Pukes. Um, do you see that? So I'm guessing that's like a pull here type thing. Ah, it is. Because there it goes. There you go. So these are just going to be like, I think like strawberry cookies. And they say Bono on the cookie. And the cookie fell on my bed. So here's the Bono cookies. I'm a strawberry cookie. That's what it is. So, the second to last thing I have is like these corn chip things. So, let's try these out and see how they are. They literally look the same. So, these are the ones that we tried earlier. And I'm going to show you them for the track. Literally exactly the same there's not a difference in taste they taste exactly the same um yeah so these might as well have the same face the same bag because they're literally I don't know if I can show you the inside of the bag but like they're literally the same chip so yeah that's a waste so I saved the best for last So these come in these cute little like packages and as you see like they all kind of like come like that so that's cool. So that doesn't mean like when you open the package you're like ruining all of them. So let's try one. But these are really cool looking. I didn't know it was going to open to look like that. So that's really cool. I've been excited about that box. And that was like the priciest thing I got. I think out of everything. I think it was like two fifty. All this stuff together cost me like twenty bucks, a little bit under twenty. Ooh. So this is what it looks like. A beautiful chocolate circle. So as I thought absolutely delicious absolutely delicious i'm probably gonna eat the rest of this box to the face so i actually lied i lost this little thing on my bed um and i think it was just fallen under the other foods i have no idea what this is it has like a little ring that's sticking out on top and i was just like really curious it was right next to the register so this is just looking like more chocolate i'm gonna have diabetes by the end of this video so this is kind of weird. It's like a chocolate umbrella. Let's see. I can't even get this thing off. Bear with me. We're going to get it off. There we go. All right. So that's that. And he's like milk chocolate. 
so there is a review of some Brazilian snacks that I found in the Somerville, Massachusetts area. Um, if there's any snacks particular that you're looking for or you want me to try, please leave it in the comments below. I'm also going to type out all of the names of all of these treats in the comments below. So if it's anything that um, you're looking for, you want to go to your local convenience store and ask for it, you're more than welcome to. Um, and please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Have a nice night.